Good evening, and thank you for joining me. It is with great pride and pleasure that I deliver to you this State of the Town Address, and the state of our town is good. It is also with great pleasure that I begin simply by saying that our budget is balanced, we have a healthy fund balance, our bond rating is A1, crime is down, and the last time I checked, the parks are open and the sewer plant was operating normally. The town of East Fishkill remains one of the most desirable places to live in Dutchess County and New York State because of all the proper planning and attention paid to economic development and public safety. Our diligent public servants and dedicated staff strive to ensure our town's continued success. As always, I want to give a big thank you to all the volunteers serving on our boards and commissions who give up so freely of their time. These citizens are dedicated to helping our town be the best in the state. And I am grateful to our town department heads and employees for their professionalism in raising service levels, productivity, and overall efficiencies. I am proud of what my administration has accomplished, and we have worked together to overcome many challenges. It is the teamwork of our town board, commissions, volunteers that have been and will continue to be the hallmark of East Fishkill government. We live in a time of great uncertainty at the federal government level and the state government level. We have to find a way as elected officials to work together. We owe it to our citizens to provide the best demonstration of teamwork. We should be setting an example for our state and federal governments on how working together produces the best results for our residents. This is really the best tradition of East Fishkill government. We stand at the conclusion of another successful fiscal year for our town. Our excellent credit standing is a barometer of our financial health currently and forward looking. We continue to put the highest priority on responsible fiscal management. This year, we have passed yet another town budget within the New York State mandated tax cap, actually well below the cap and will continue to adequately fund all essential services, including our police department, roads and building maintenance, and of course, recreation. The total town budget is almost $30 million, and that includes all the water and sewer special districts. Like I said, the town was awarded an A1 bond rating by Moody's Investor Service, which results in lower borrowing costs if ever needed, and saving and much savings for our taxpayers. This is a great rating that can be attained by a municipality. It is also an important that we maintain our infrastructure and make significant capital expenditures required to meet the ever-changing needs of our community. Along with responsible spending practices, identifying alternative revenue streams or funding sources for priority projects lessens the monetary burden and helps us remain financially strong. So thank you to the town controller and his staff for their assistance regarding the town finances. John F. Kennedy said that every accomplishment starts with the decision to try. And we have made that decision to try again and again over the past year. Whether it was to solve an unexpected problem, to improve an existing program, or to embark on a new initiative. First, look at our leadership. I am honored to be your town supervisor. And we have a new council member, Councilman Arco. And we have two proven council members, Councilperson Franco and Councilperson Marinaro. Each of them bring value to the table, given their diverse backgrounds and unique perspectives when dealing with town issues. The town board has been steadfast with their support of my initiatives, and they, have, they are doing a tremendous job, so thank you to all of them. I'm looking forward to working together this year as well. Our connections with other levels of government and government officials also are important to enhancing our quality of life. Our new Congressman, Michael Lawler, I have met with him and he has pledged his continue to continue to aid East Fishkill with the EPA water project and other important issues for East Fishkill residents, especially when it comes to contaminated water. I would like to specifically acknowledge State Senator Rob Rollison and State Assemblyman A.J. Pan, 
both of whom have discussed in detail with me ideas to aid the town of East Fishkill. Senator Rollison has already been addressing more funding for our police departments and projects, and Assemblyman Beepan has been working with me on holding the public utility companies accountable, and also working with New York State Department of Transportation for infrastructure in our town. So a big thank you to both of them. The East Fishkill Police Department is second to none as an accredited, professional, community-focused law enforcement agency. As part of its pol community policing initiative, we have developed a community policing team. They are to engage our business community and other community organizations. The mission of this is to break down the barriers between police officers and the local businesses and organizations they serve by removing agendas and allowing opportunities to ask questions, voice concerns, and get to know the officers in our town. This past year, we have hired four new police officers, five new police assistants, and we have promoted a new detective and a new lieutenant as well. We're making great progress with our police department because the town board understands how important public safety is to our residents. I congratulate all of the individuals who have been hired and promoted, and I thank the entire department for your professionalism and commitment to East Fishkill. Our town justices, Frederick Romig and Brian Runner, do a wonderful job. The court runs in real time and cases are adjudicated in a timely fashion. East Fishkill Court is currently the sixth busiest town court in New York State. We handle over 10,000 cases a year. We are blessed to have such steadfast judges who work hard for the people of East Fishkill. The East Fishkill Fire District and Emergency Services are also second to none. We have a completely volunteer department. Last year, they responded to approximately 2,800 calls. Their training, professionalism, and commitment are an invaluable asset to the residents of East Fishkill. Over 12,000 training hours logged this past year alone. With over 280 active members, I have been very proactive with the Board of Fire Commissioners with having quarterly meetings with the entire board and also a monthly meeting with their liaison commissioner to the town. This communication is key in the implementation of public safety and cost-saving protocols for our community. Also, their seamless workflow between our police department and their responders is amazing. My congratulations to all volunteers, fire commissioners, and of course, the Fire Chief, Frank LaCalameda, who does a terrific job and keeps the interests of our residents and his firematic personnel. East Fishkill is also a community that places the highest priority on education at all levels. We are fortunate to be the home of many fine public, private, and faith-based schools. Not only do we have four different school districts in our town, the Wappinger Central School District, Arlington, Pauling, and Carmel, but we also have 15 private and four faith-based schools, connecting students of many backgrounds. This past year, I have attended meetings with the Wappinger School District Superintendent and his staff. We meet quarterly with a few other town supervisors and mayors, and we proactively discuss policies and procedures which would aid each municipality in the educational advancement of our residents. We will be continuing to implement an interim program with Wappinger Central Schools in an effort to show students the benefits of government and different areas of interest. This is a terrific program, which we started several years ago. East Fishkill is also currently working with institutions of higher education, such as Dutchess Community College, Vassar College, and Marist College. Again, we will hopefully be implementing an intern program with them as well. Our schools on all levels connect East Fishkill with the jobs of tomorrow and the diversity of America and the world today. The East Fishkill Recreation Department, led by directors Bill Green and Christine Selbach, is always looking to bring new recreational activities for people of all ages. From arts and crafts to Zumba, there's something for everyone at East Fishkill Recreation. And recreation programs are a low pressure way to learn a new skill, sport, or activity. Our summer camp program is especially popular with the kids and working families. 
Our town park system has never been more popular, especially our Red Wing Park during the summer months. Actually, this year, our East Fishco Recreation Day Camp is a finalist in Hudson Valley Magazine's Best of the Hudson Valley. So please be sure to vote for the East Fishco Summer Camp for Best of the Hudson Valley. Not only do we have our camps in Maine Rec area in Hopewell, but we, are, but we are very blessed in our community to have Julie's Jungle Park, an all-inclusive park for children of all abilities. This is the only one of its kind in the Hudson Valley region. So many volunteers made this dream a reality and it's becoming another jewel in our park system. Our entire staff works so very hard in ensuring our parks remain a treasure for generations to come. Also, with our Veterans Council, we have made significant strides in the planning of a new park, the East Fishkill Veterans Memorial Park. This will be located across from Town Hall on town-owned property. We hired an engineering firm to come up with a design for the new park, and last year that was completed and the town board endorsed the plan 100%. We are now moving on to the second phase, which will include the site plan and fundraising. We are going to be asking all the large companies that do business in our community to help build these new Veterans Memorial Park. Many of the companies who have moved to East Fishkill, including PepsiCo and Amazon and many others, do contribute towards these projects, and we are going to get them to contribute towards our goal. All of our town departments work very hard and diligently. To name a few, our town clerk's office, led by our town clerk, Peter Cassidy, tax receiver's office, led by our tax receiver, Claudia Dolan, and the assessor's office, led by town assessor, Kathy Martin. They all have done a tremendous job this year. I have asked many departments to step up and share employees with one another during their office's busy period, and they all have all chipped in, in one way or another. This multi-department training is very valuable to town residents, not only by lowering the amount of unnecessary employees, which saves tax dollars, but also by having more knowledgeable employees, resulting in more efficient and effective delivery of services. We have also expanded the hours at Town Hall so that more residents can access their elected officials and town departments and add to the community outreach and greater customer service. This town board is dedicated to maintaining and upgrading town infrastructure as finances and resources permit. In the past, road paving budget was the first to be cut, either to assist with tight budgets or other endeavors. We are dedicated on not continuing that. We have dedicated more towards the budgets for road paving. My administration will keep adding more year after year until we can find ourselves in a better position to maintain our roads properly. East Fishkill has more miles of town road than any other town in Dutchess County, and this is a very costly endeavor. The East Fishkill Highway Department has done a tremendous job trying to patch and repair what's needed with the limited resources available to it. If they had more funding, they could do more. These are the hurdles we must and will address. Ken Williams, our highway superintendent, has been thinking out of the box when it comes to trying to stretch dollars in the budgets. In the past, in this past year, we have entered into a multi-municipal sharing services agreement with other towns and the state. We will utilize the state salt and sand sheds at Limekiln Road and Ludingtonville Road locations to fill up during the storms and pay them back afterwards. This will save us fuel and more importantly time during a storm event. And time is money during a storm event. Another great area of concern are the tax assessment from large companies that do business in town. I have read recently that many large companies are trying to skirt their responsibilities with regards to property taxes because of their loss of business in their brick and mortar stores as compared to their online businesses. This town board is working closely with our assessor and town attorney to mitigate any foreseeable issues in regards to the assessment role and make sure that everyone is paying their fair share. Another reason why East Fishkill is so blessed to have experienced professionals who are capable of handling these complex issues. Water, water is the new gold and water quality is the lifeline of any prosperous community. 
our public's work team, which includes our building department, engineering department, and planning department, has spent years in discussions with Dutchess County and other related agencies about the crucial issue regarding the water assignment to the town of East Fishkill. We are making progress, and I'm hopeful. However, I am uncomfortable with relying solely on indecisive bureaucrats for this important issue. That is why a few years ago, I started a coalition of multiple municipalities for the expansion of water and sewer infrastructure and aquifer protection. This Southern Duchess coalition will help ourselves if other government agencies are not willing to assist with economic development for East Fishkill and the whole of Duchess County. This is how important important this truly is. The ability to provide pure, clean, and safe drinking water in the southern part of the county is cru critical for the growth of our whole region. Our East Fishkill team comprised of our town attorney, town engineer, planner, and controller is very talented, and East Fishkill is blessed to have them working hard for our betterment. Not only are we working on this expansion, but we have many other water and sewer projects. We are in the process of digging new wells in some water districts, rehabbing wells in others, and trying to protect water sources that we currently have. Also, we are in the midst of projects at Worldly Homes or Hopewell West Water District, Brett View, and Revere Water Systems as well. We have completed the temporary connection to the Dutchess County water line for Hopewell West and finishing up the design for meter installation for the homes this summer. We will be tearing down the old water infrastructure and the last phase is the main and curb stop replacements, which we are in the midst of planning now. This will provide the much needed redundancy for those water systems, a new water source for Worley Homes and the fix for Revere Park and Brett View water systems. Each of these measures is important to us as we maintain our infrastructure and make significant capital expenditures that can be required to meet evolving community needs. East Fishkill has been working with the state on many different levels on the Route 82 improvements throughout the hamlet. The suicide lane down the middle of Route 82 in the hamlet has become very problematic, and the proper use of that lane will become non-operational when the traffic count reaches 20,000 cars per day. Our traffic engineers tell us once this happens, the state will perhaps close down that suicide lane, and then larger problems will occur. East Fishkill has applied for grants to pay for the road improvements. We have been awarded a $5 million grant from New York State for the construction of two roundabouts in the Hamlet, but not in the location of our first choosing. The state has chosen Route 82 and 376 intersection by St. Columba and Route 82 and 376 by Frankie Superette. Even though we're excited about being awarded this grant, we did not anticipate those locations being chosen first. Thus, we have not had enough time for the engineering analysis to facilitate that project in a timely manner. We are working with New York State Department of Transportation about using that grant for different potential traffic mitigation projects for the Hopewell Hamlet. These traffic issues are decades old that we are not or have not been taken seriously enough. I have made it one of my commitments to fix this for our community. These are very complex fixes which require the collaboration and buy-in of many different local government agencies. I feel that I have made strong enough relationships with them to foster the goodwill to get these projects funded and completed. I will be working hard for this for our community. We are always looking and working towards improving what we have to offer. And in an effort to keep our entire community informed of urgent matters, our town website contains a link for residents to add their contact information so that in the event of an emergency, they can be notified through emails and robocalls. Just go onto eastfishgillny.org and look for Gov Delivery and please sign up. This is just another way East Fishkill understands that we must be accountable to our citizens. It makes me feel proud to see so many of our residents who help one another. Last few years have been very difficult dealing with COVID and the economy. When COVID came, many residents reached out to see if they could help those who couldn't help themselves. It was all hands on deck across our entire community, neighbors helping neighbors, and it was awesome to see. 
This past year, we have received accolades for our community from Dutchess County, as they are in awe of what we have been doing from our Veterans Council to the formation of our Business and Economic Development Committee. We must also be responsive to our business community that creates our prosperity, and we need to work effectively together and to be accountable to our citizens. Businesses are expanding and locating to East Fishkill. People are choosing one of our many great subdivisions to call home. This leads me to talk about East Fishkill's economic development. The town board has been very successful in implementing our economic development policies and it shows. We have been able to clean up and redevelop essential brownfield sites in our town into economic generating industrial areas. And I'm talking about the former IBM East and West campuses. We have successfully lured Fortune 500 companies to East Fishkill because we have proven to get the job done and create an atmosphere where companies want to come here and do business, unlike the rest of New York State. All of these projects means more tax dollars for the town, county, and school district, and bringing hundreds of new jobs to our region. This helps our residents because it helps stabilize our tax base. Taxes go up everywhere, but in East Fishkill, they go up much slower than any other town in Dutchess County because we are increasing the amount of tax generating projects. We also understand that this type of development belongs in the industrial areas of town, and that's why we have been focusing on the former IBM sites and nowhere else. We love our farms and rural areas, and we want to keep them here forever. East Fishkill has the best of both worlds. That's why we are such a desirable community. I am pleased to say that the state of our town is healthy. It is an honor to bring examples of what we are doing as a town, working alongside our community and its leaders. However, a growing and healthy town does have its challenges, which stresses the importance of working with partners and professionals on issues both within and outside of our jurisdiction, such as roads, schools, and libraries. Our team is focused on delivering progress on all the areas that I have discussed today and more. I'm very proud of the enormous number of people that work so hard behind the scenes, making sure we continue to be the best place to live, work, and raise your family. It is an honor to serve you, our residents, the great town of East Fishkill. Our access depends on working together as partners and making sure everyone has a seat at our East Fishkill table. Thank you and God bless us all.